Hey, it's been six months or more since we've really done the work on the cabin here. I'm so excited to see how this has come through the winter. So far, it's looking good just from the outside. We've done some, some cooking videos in here. Um, we've got a lot to look at. These cabins were made as temporary structures and they needed a lot of work to keep them going uh, or else they just sort of deteriorate really quickly. So we've got to look at what's happening with the chimney, what's happening with the roof, the chinking, the door. And of course, we're working on the grounds all around us. I'm really happy with the way this has gone so as soon as we get this into at least temporary shape, now we're gonna work on our kind of more our outer homestead. What kinds of things can we do on this piece of property? So excited about getting to more of that this season. But right now, let's look at the chimney. We've done uh, some cooking episodes in here. I've had some big, big fires uh, in this already this year, uh, multiple times and Overall, you can see it's in really good shape for, you know, no bricks in this guy at all. It's got definitely some damage right here in the center back, which is really typical. This is where it gets the most heat uh, kind of concentrated on it. And we've got some flaking. It's starting to pull apart a little bit, but it's only really eaten into the back wall, maybe three quarters of an inch. And we've got at least six inches of clay there, maybe eight. So it can eat away a lot. Um, and what's happening up the chimney? So far, the whole throat of the chimney is in great shape. Very, the cracks that are in there, very small cracks. The uh, sticks and things that are holding that together, sort of like um, modern day rebar inside of concrete. Uh, there's some of that there. I see almost no damage. None of that is showing. So the, the center, the middle part of the chimney is great. Now we have to worry about what's happening at the very top and we need to build this chimney up a little bit both to give us a little better draft although the draft is basically pretty good as it is and to uh, it also channels the sparks and the uh, cinders that come out of the top of the chimney we want to channel that up and out as much as possible so it doesn't land on the roof and catch our cabin on fire so the chimney, especially the top here, was one of my biggest concerns because this is the part that gets the most weather. And I'm astounded by how well that the top end has held up. Um, the the, the uh, logs that we see here, almost no damage whatsoever from heat, which is excellent uh, because we do have people uh, in the time period being concerned about these guys catching fire and burning their cabin down. I got no problems up here. So we've got to raise this up. We're probably going to put another three logs, four log circles around here uh, to get it up another foot or so. And then we'll have to add cob in to protect those logs. It's amazing. Like
Okay, that is the end of the clay that needs to go on the chimney right now. We built the clay liner all the way up to the top of the wood and we're finally <laughs> close to where we need to be uh, and where I've always wanted to be with this chimney. So uh, this clay up here is unprotected from the weather and it will wash away as we get especially heavy rains this type of year. So I'm, I'm gonna have to wash this and I need to come up with some plan to protect it. Something that can protect it to, from the weather and not catch on fire at the same time. It feels so good to be done with the chimney. We had to stop early last year because the weather closed in on us. It got too cold and the, the mud wouldn't have dried properly, so we had to stop. Finally, it's up there a good another two, three feet. It's above the ridge line. The draw is even better than it was before, so it's working really well. Nice protected right now, so I'm feeling good about that. We still got some more cabin work to do. We got some definite big holes in the roof that we have to fix. The door has shrank way down, and so we've got to figure out how we're going to fix that door and some other little things to fix up around the cabin, and then it's time to start working on our outside homestead. We've got, we've got different ideas that we have to do right here to make this a functional homestead, just like it would have been in the early 19th century. This is going to be great. Hey, stay tuned as we keep working on this homestead. <laughs>